Okay, guys, I found a real beautiful golden gem. It's one of my neighbor's cars. I ain't gonna say where it's located. But this is one of beauty I've always looked at and always wanted to do. This thing is a 64 Buick Wildcat. Super bad, okay? It's got the 400 turbo trans in it. So you know it's gonna fly. As my neighbor standing right here next to me, Mr. Gary. All right, how's it going? Yeah, you see him here. Yeah. Matter of fact, I'm gonna let him do a little testimony real quick. Be right back. All right, Mr. Gary, we're gonna talk about your 64 here, this bad Buick, you know. We'll let you give a little bit of testimony like you did me. All right, how you guys doing? It's a 1964 Buick Wildcat. Uh, it's got the 401 in it. Uh, it's been bored out to like a 407, 409. Um, it's got a 650 um, Elebrock on there, bigger jets, electronics in it, headers on it, and this thing is rough. I'm gonna tell you. Once you get down on it, once you drive it, trust me, you're gonna love it. I do it all the time, take it out of town. It's been to the Hot Rod Power Tour several times, up to the Detroit Dream Cruise, so I'd have been some everywhere in it. And whenever I go to a show, whenever I pull up, I don't care where I'm at, it is number one almost there. Everybody comes over there. A lot of times I can't even get out the car fast enough in order to uh, just even get set up. If for everybody's over there, phew, like that. So, but enjoy it and um, take a look at it. Thanks. All right. Thank you, Mr. Gary. No problem. Okay, guys, we're going to take a good look at this Black Beauty. Buick Wildcat. 64. I mean, this thing is gorgeous. And to all the competition out there, especially you Dodge people with them 727 440s, <laughs> you can't hang with a sleeper. And this sleeper here will dominate you. Don't believe me? Roll up on it one day. This is a super gorgeous car. I remember when I first saw it, I said, man, I saw it going down the street and it was like a rocket. Like I said, and I looked and I saw the sign Wildcat on the side of it. And I knew right then and there, this was one that was a keeper. And for all those out there to see this video, if you know of a Wildcat, this is going to make you want to go buy it. I've seen a few at the uh, some of the uh, car shows up there in Michigan, but I've never seen one like this. This one is what you call the oldie but goodie. This car is so glamorous with this triple black paint with the chrome and the interior. And it's also convertible for all you convertible fans. You know, got the wheel skirts on the rear. I mean, it's a clean car and it's straight. All the way through, you see nothing out of line with this car. This is a beauty, a true Buick beauty. Now this is what I call an old school dash. Look how clean this thing is, man. I mean, this dash is in really good condition, excellent condition. You see the speedometer. The old school ampage and temp. All the tech on the side of it, in front. And it's a convertible. That's the thing about it. You see the split bench. As we go into it, we look at it a little closer. Interior is immaculate. Back seats. I mean, you can't find anything wrong with this car, man. This is a true classic Buick. And it, it survived the times. These are what you call keepers. You never let them go. You keep this in the family forever. Now let's do the passenger side. Start with the dash. Oh yeah. Get you a different look from the passenger side.
This is a well-kept, well-maintained Buick. See the leg room in the back? I don't want to neglect that for you all. But you got good room back here with a nice deep seat. You got room, plenty of room for three people in the back. Plenty of room for three people up front. You know how it is when you got something out of the 60s, late 60s hot rod era, era going into the 70s. You always had plenty of room in these cars, no matter what. Like I said, when my father, when he had his Oldsmobile uh, 88 drop top, just like this Buick, plenty of room and plenty of power. You can't get past that, man. These things are hard to beat. They're hard to beat. And this is the 409 he was speaking of, y'all. This thing is beauty. Very clean, very well maintained. Look at the radiator. And we get a little bit closer to the engine. You see how it's set up with this Buick motor in here. It's 409. Elder Brock carburetor. Look at the size of these heads. This is beautiful, man. That's why I said these old banners got headers on it. These old Buicks, man, you sleepers. They'll wake you up, you go across them. You ever come across a Buick like this and you try to outrun it, best believe it's gonna keep up with you, if not beat you. Yeah, this is a beauty. Black beauty. Buick Wildcat, y'all.